but it's just a way as to how we can go ahead and show you uh, if I just modify this with something different such as if I go ahead and insert a date uh, to put inside that a text file let's say only for 2015 then I will get all the card numbers which uh, expires in 2015 if I go ahead and use 2016 or 17 18 similarly I will get each and everything related to that so I'll just go ahead and delete this so that no one else sees that perfect so this is just an example as to how we can go ahead and gather information and Google Hacking Database is quite useful in this thing. After that we have the GMAP uh, hacker and the honeypot option. So starting with MetaGoofle, MetaGoofle is an information gathering tool designed for extracting let's say metadata of public documents that is from PDF, doc or uh, docx, pptx, xlsx file belonging to a target company. I probably won't suggest using MetaGoofle even though it's quite famous. We have one more extractor which is quite useful in uh, the for today and I'll just go ahead and show you that. I just I don't exactly remember the name. So I'll just Exif tool, yeah. I Exif tool perfect. So Exif tool is quite useful in gathering information even if you have an image of a random person, you can go to this website and download this. So what it does is that let's say if you have taken pick a normal pick, pick from your camera and let's say for example you have a Sony camera, Sony cell phone and uh, if you have an Android lollipop then you would probably go ahead and name your username let's say uh, your name is Mr. Adam so you'll probably go ahead and name it as Mr. Adam so if you go ahead and do that and you click your picture and you send it to someone else any random person who has that image can go ahead and gather the username from which cell phone you took the pic just by uh, using this metadata tool and applying it on uh, executing this with your image so he do, uh, it doesn't matter from where he got the image from a website or from uh, via USB traveling or via WhatsApp people sending it over there it's just a matter of time that he needs to have that image and this exif tool and he can get uh, all the information such as from where did you crack it and I think that probably we have uh, exif tool over here let me check if we have it already installed in Cal Linux perfect we have it so I'll just type hyphen help let's check if we could get all the information okay I would have to consult the documentation but I will show you as to how we can go down let me just copy one of the files from over here from my computer and let's say I'll just go down and copy it from over here and I'll just try to paste it over here if I'm able to. Okay, perfect. Uh, what I'll do is I'll just type, I'll just go and type exif2 slash desktop top slash. I'll just go and type desktop slash. Let's say we have perfect I'll hit enter so as you can see that I have over here the course text file how much byte but it's just a simple text file if I want to gather much more information let me just see if I have any PDF documents over here okay I let me check okay great we have a PDF document so I'll just go ahead and uh, paste it over here yeah, I don't want this. I'll just paste it over here. Perfect. And I'll just go ahead and execute the exif tool. So I'll just type exif tool and I'll type desktop and I'll type desktop corona. Perfect. And I'll hit enter. And as you can see, that I have all the information I want over here. I have uh, the name when it was modified or created and it was on the 7th of March April uh, at uh, 2 o'clock at plus 5 uh, the, what was the time it's a PDF application it was not linearized and we have the creation date which is 2013 and the website from where we down where the guy downloaded it was it the slash ebooks and it was so he downloaded this PDF file on this computer on to, in 2013 or uh, from this website this is the image file uh, as you can see that we have from where did it create he created this in Adobe uh, InDesign CS6 in Windows and this is quite a useful information and uh, yes 
So these are quite the useful information that you can get just by Exif tool. And if you know how to extract these tools in a proper way, in a much uh, advanced way, then you can even get the username of that person who created it. So that's just a quite an example as to how we can do that. Coming on to our next part would be the Golink scanner. So the Golink scanner removes the cache from your searches and collects and displays only vulnerable site links. Thus, it allows you to find vulnerabilities wide open to Google and Google bots. We have Site Digger, which searches Google's cache to look uh, for vulnerabilities, errors, configuration issues. Google Hacks, as I told you, it's a compilation of carefully crafted Google searches that expose novel functionalities from Google search and map services. We have Bile Suit. That stands for bidirectional link extractor and it then applies a simple statistical weighing algorithm to deduce the websites that have the strongest relationship with the target site. Then we have Google Honeybot which create, which is the reaction to a new type of malicious web traffic actually and it is a search engine for hackers, uh, Google Hack Honeybot and you can go and check it at ghh.sourceforge.net and GHH implements the Honeypot theory to provide additional info security to your web presence. We have GMAP Catcher, uh, Search Dignity, Google Hacking Database as I showed you and finally the Gooscan. Gooscan is a tool that automates queries against Google search appliances and these queries are designed to find the pot potential vulnerabilities on your websites. So that would be it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial I'll be ta starting with the, what exactly would be uh, would we after do after gathering information as to the Whois lookup, the DNS interrogation and the Shodan search engine and the trace route.